we're looking at the Adolphus Ant Sphinx Oil on Paint Canvas by Gustave Moreau. Gustave Moreau was a French painter and a major figure in the French Symbolist movement. Although he was French, much of his work was heavily influenced by the Italian Renaissance. Born in Paris into a wealthy middle-class family, Gustave visited Italy where he quickly developed an interest in art. By 1851, Gustave befriended another painter, Theodore, who studied under Jean Paris. He was deeply influenced through Theodore's artwork on combining elements of neoclassical and romanticism aesthetics. Gustave was big on symbolism, and it's very evident in his artwork of the Adolphus and the Sphinx. The painting is rather large, with the dimensions being 81 by 41 inches, and marks the beginning of Gustave's mature period that shares a new interpretation of a famous scene from Greek mythology. The scene consists of the tragic hero Adolphus on a journey between Thebes and Delphi, after having just killing his father, Louis, he married his mother, Jocasta, in unwitting fulfillment of divine prophecy. But before he continued his journey, Odophis had to answer a popular riddle that's been used all over. The riddle being, what walks on four feet in the morning, two in the afternoon, and three at night? After being the first to answer the riddle correctly, the Sphinx threw herself into the ocean. The main focus is on the beast, who has the head and breast of a woman, shoulders of a bird, body of a lion, and a tail of a serpent. As the creature is crawling up Adolphus' body, both him and the Sphinx are holding each other's gaze. Gustavi's version pays homage to the new classical painter Jean Ingres while offering several points of formal and thematic departure. The painting shows density and symbolic detailing through ambiguous features such as the fig tree at the bottom left corner, the butterfly and chalice to Adolphus right, with finally the snake slithering around the pedestal. Gustave wanted to present a scene that was outside the naturalistic, time-bound, and realm of historical and mythic narrative by instead occupying a strange and timeless dream world. Critics often suggest that the painting had many biographical and sociological influences by the dominant body language of the Sphinx clawing her way up Adolphus' body that expressed fears of the growing political and cultural influences of women in the mid-19th century in France. Gustave's artwork marked a new direction for both him and French painting in general by rejecting realism and naturalism and establishing new concepts of symbolist art.